sport is hard. It's very, very, very hard. And that's why, you know, India must look at failure very differently. I think mm. society on its own looks down on failure in India. And I think it's high time that, you know, society and, and, and the youth of the country become more sporting in nature. You have mm. to, uh, yes, uh, you, you want to go there and win. No question about that. You know, you want to put your best foot forward and, and be on the podium. But, you know, there are 10,000 odd athletes here. Only 300 go back with gold medals. So uh, the, the, the people who don't, they're not losers. Mm. They've gained, they've, they've represented your country. There are only 10,000 athletes here in the whole of, there are the 10,000 best athletes on this planet. Mm. So you can imagine how brutal the competition is. You can imagine how tough that competition is. And I think we have to just look at failure very differently. Mm. Uh, of course, we have to learn from it. We have to learn to fail well. We have to uh, un take learnings out of uh, every experience and, and try and get better. And, 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 and sport is a human endeavor. Yeah. Uh, and uh, you have to keep going. You have to remain resilient. You have to remain patient. Mm. And you have to learn to remain positive. And, and, and you have to back your athletes. You can't just be with your athlete when... He when the she, going's good. When the going's good. Yeah. That's very convenient. And, and, and that's not the way... Uh, we should look at sport and, and our athletes. Uh, we have to appreciate uh, sport very differently. You, you know, I, I want to pick up on, on, on what you said, which is, I, I think, so beautiful because I don't think that people really truly appreciate or understand the value of, of that, failing well. And, and, and you've had a, had a bunch of failures. My life was a failure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You also walked away with the Olympic gold but, uh, and, created, it, and created history. But, you know, the idea of failing well, uh, what did it take for you to be able to A, internalize that and B, manifest that in the way that you operate, in the way that you function as a human being in your daily life? Be you know, I had my times as well where I did not fail well and I think those were the times uh, when my self-worth was uh, attached to where my name would appear on the ranking list of a sporting competition. And then I realized at one point of my career that I'm more than that. Mm. Uh, I'm more than what an, uh, just my exploits on the field of play. And my journey really became a journey of self-respect, uh, about putting my best foot forward, about doing my best every day and looking myself into the mirror and asking myself the question, have I put my best foot forward? Mm. And if the answer was, a, was yes, and I had to be brutally honest with myself, I'd already won. I'd already won in front of my own eyes, and that to me was How great, long was, did it take you to greatest, get, get to that point? Was, was the greatest validation I could get after a lot of failure. Mm. <laughs> uh, it, it was after a lot of failure and, you know, then I started looking at failure very differently. And then, you know, detach myself a little bit from outcomes and, mm. and really immerse myself into the process and, and, and the journey became its own reward. And I think that is important. I think that is important in life. And sport is a reflection of larger society of life. And, mm. and, and I think uh, that is how we should start looking at sport and, and looking at the journeys of athletes. For more news and updates, all you need to do is follow CNBC TV 18 on all of our digital platforms.